Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media in this presentation we're going to look at how we can change the skin contour or color and brightness by using Lightroom Classic 2024 so we're going to start off with with a, a straightforward image like this and there's some yellow tint because of the yellow background here we see some yellow tint to this and we need to add a little more warmth bring in some uh, pink color into this one one of the first things we can do is to try to use this uh, Doppler using a white balance and uh, as you know eyes are supposed to be clear eyes supposed to be purely white if you can zoom in and, and get most of these blocks uh, in the white uh, range then you fix this one but uh, it kind of overdid it plus it it affects the overall picture which is what we don't want to do so let's reset this one the second method we're going to try is just see if we can ever so slightly increase the yellow you see if you go all the way temperature here yellow is all yellow and it is all blue neither one of them are good so that's not what we're interested in we're interested in just increasing the little skin tone which is in the tint but it also affects the like if you see before and it's it's looking slightly better like if we go all the way here that's too much so ever so slightly we can come here and and try this one and uh, but I am going to do something else also which will make a dramatic difference between what we're seeing so 14 7 maybe 10 plus 10 and uh, if you look at here this is before and it is already maybe even 14 let's go a little more here okay this is before and this is after changing the tint so let's reset the tint here the third method is to use this uh, wheel there are two colors that affect the skin blue and red so let us see what we can do if we, if we bring the blue down here that's giving too much pink as you can see this pink here and blue here so we don't want that much pink yes that may be one way to do it but the other way to do this is just bring this part that's too much you see you have to do just fine adjustment and mostly i think let's reset this one and uh, so we just go over here we are right now we're on red so let's go to blue first and see if it's, it's 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 too much yellow here and here's yellow so we want to move this one ever so slightly or if that doesn't work you just move this one this is before this is afterwards that's maybe too much let's just bring it a thread if that doesn't work we go to the red we want to increase the red color a little bit so we just go over here red that's too much red let's reset the whole thing let's just go to red it's looking a little better just ever so slightly we want to increase the color this is before and this is afterwards but that's not all that's going to be done here the thing that's going to change dramatically is uh, masking so here we bring this uh, masking tool and here it identifies the person so I'm going to click on this person now we're going to selectively go use the skin and body skin so it selects these two areas and whatever changes we make if that's not enough we can it's missing a part of this but uh, for a demonstration purpose we'll stick to this we go to create a mask now it has created a mask and uh, the temperature is usually supposed let me reset this temperature and this is what we started off with all right so we can increase the exposure which will uh, dramatically change the skin color and texture just ever so slightly 0.45 so here we have this picture and this was before and this is afterwards you can see and it looks brighter it uh, we can do a lot of things 
here in terms of increasing the highlights if you want or you can shadows if you don't want that one we can decrease the whites yeah it gives a little more like a three dimensional view I can you can darken her hair a little bit that's good maybe it's too much just a touch so here's before which was kind of like a light skin color tone and hair look at her now and look at this one this more warmth and it's just a matter of what pleases your eyes but I'm just showing you some of these techniques that you can use to change what looks like a, a dull picture maybe underexposed with a little yellow tint because of the yellow background and you can fix that by just changing uh, a few things by using different techniques if one technique doesn't work you have to use a, a combination of these techniques to get your final result I hope uh, this has been useful to you thank you so much for watching and uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next presentation. Bye.